Inishmore has, for Irish people especially, a lot of mythical and literary uh, associations. So I always was intrigued about setting something there. The islands themselves have been fascinating in the way they're, they're different and in the way they're the same. Like Inishmore, there's just, there's not a tree on it. You know, there's a couple of little old scrubby trees here and there, and you kind of feel this is an extraordinarily harsh place with all this bare limestone rock. But there's a softness about it. And it's like, it's the most extraordinary thing. There's a gentleness about the people over there, and they're as tough as nails, but it, there, there's a gentleness about it that was really, really did inform some of the peace. You know, I was on Inishmore for over three weeks. It was idyllic. There's something in the air there, you know. It kind of just has a feeling of like an ancient sort of place. The beauty of the ocean, those big waves that crash on the, on the shore. The most beautiful sunsets we had. I mean, the weather was ridiculous. It was like the Greek islands. It was so strange, but beautiful. And Ackle then had a very different kind of a feel of these looming mountains that have a lot of tragedy behind them. Everybody felt the shift in that when we got to Ackle, it got darker. And I think there's a sense that these places can be very beautiful, melancholic beauty in the dark, the rain, the misery and the greyness, and very beautiful in the sunshine too. You're, you're mesmerised, you know? You just want to take it all home with you. They're very, very different, and yet they have kind of this sort of community feel where, where people, there's kind of an intimacy about them that's, that's very real. You just turn a corner and a bend on every road and there's a new bay, a new beach, a new set of cliffs. You know, I love the west of Ireland, I love Clare, Galway and all this, but I, I've never seen anywhere quite as dramatic as, as Ackill Island. It really is fantastic. It's all to do with Martin and his ability to choose the greatest locations. We're so lucky and everybody in the crew, I think, feels how lucky they are to A, be working on such a great show, but also to have the advantage of experiencing time at these locations. The places that we have been lucky enough to inhabit for this short time we've spent together have really allowed the story breadth and vastness for this ultimately really intimate kind of passion play to take place within you. And that's sort of what we wanted to capture in the film was the beauty of Ireland and the cinema of it. We just wanted to make one of the most beautiful Irish films we could possibly make. Thank you.